Hey everybody, what's going on? Blay here. Glad you could join us. Oh, this is so exciting. We're playing Journey uh, for the second time. This is I'm super pumped. I got my, uh, because we're on a journey. I decided to dress up a little bit for y'all here. Got my Journey hat on. I got this at, uh, I don't know where I got this. I think I got it at Target, maybe H&M. Then I got a sweet, uh, got a sweet shirt here. The desert is just so, it's so like monochromatic. You know what I'm saying? It's so monochromatic. Hey Jace, Dark Aces, Lulafon, what's going on? Blizz183, how are you? Uh, and tonight, I, I'm really excited because uh, tonight, uh, so we streamed this game, I think, uh, uh, last week, and I got an email from somebody. Uh, you know, uh, it, it's a pretty big deal, uh, and uh, I, I thought it, I'd invite him in to, to, to come play with us tonight. I hope you guys... Uh, Hope you guys enjoy. I maybe can answer some questions or she. I don't even know if it's a he or she. Uh, please welcome the main character from Journey. That's right. That's right. What's going on? Hey. Hi. I. Uh, hey. What's your? Uh, I, I can't really hear any applause. Uh, well, that, it's uh, uh, there's, it's just a chat. Just say hello to the people in the chat there. What, what's your What's your name even? I don't oh, even know uh, your name. My My name is Steve Perry. From the video game Journey. Wait, you know that. You know that Journey is also a band, and the lead singer is named Steve Perry also. Did you know, have you heard of the band Journey? This is not real. This is not happening. That is, that is quite a coincidence. That's a, that's an amazing, that's an amazing coincidence. Do you sing at all? Can you sing anything? Oh, I, <laughs> no. Wow. Uh, wow, that's crazy. I only hum. You only hum? Well, hum, hum, Steve Perry, can I call you Steve Perry? Which, should I call you Steve Perry 2? Uh, Steve Perry from the video game Journey, hum us a couple bars of your favorite song. Okay. Uh, okay. Is that is that Happy Birthday? Yeah, that's my favorite song. No one sings it to oh, me. Oh, all right. Well, don't sing it because we'll get sued because it's uh it's uh, it's uh it's it's heavy, heavily licensed I think by two women or whatever. Say say hi to the uh, say hi. No, Brooklyn Queen. That's this is not a curtain. This is what this is what J Steve Perry wears. So this is the the whole thing started was. I uh, travel the desert and I collect pieces of uh, fabric to make quilts. I'm just a right. quilter. Right, he's just got like, he just has like little pieces of fabric and he runs around in the desert. Now why, let me ask you a question, Steve Perry from the video game Journey, not the band Journey. Why are you running through the desert here? What, uh, what, 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 how long ago was this for you? I, I grew up in the desert and uh, yeah. someone found me. They told me they made the video games. And I told him my story that <laughs> I am a quilter. Wait, video game developers were wandering in the desert and found you. That is a, that is quite a story. That's a great story. Yeah, it was uh, unbelievable for me. I didn't know what they were doing in the desert. Uh, so I, I told them that I'm collecting fabric from around the desert to make the best quilt in the world. What? That's your goal in life, is to make the best quilt in the world. That's a pretty good, uh, that's a pretty good goal. I, uh, I haven't finished it yet. I, I see myself running around with the one. Yeah. Is, I don't have any siblings. I don't know who that other one is. I don't know who this is either. This is not, maybe this is, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, I'm trying to think of another, maybe this is Milo from the movie Amazing Journey. Oh, I, <laughs> is I don't, there anything else called Journey? I, I don't, don't know. I don't know movies. Uh, uh well, J here, Jace asks, uh, it must be pretty hot in the, out in the desert. Do you have any hydration tips? Uh, well, don't. Don't use a quilt. <laughs> I I just make quilts. I make I'm trying to make the quilt. The qu like the best quilt. What what do you think is a great quilt? What what gives you uh, when you see a quilt? What do you look for in a great quilt? Uh, the stitching. The stitching. Okay. You like a you like a thick gauge stitch or like a you like a fine stitch, a nice a nice thin stitch. I like the zigzag with the line next to it. Oh, the zigzag with the line. Like on like on jeans. Do you know what jeans are? Like on like on like on. I don't mean to get gross here, but like this, like this kind of a stitch. Oh, what a beautiful stitch. Yeah, like this. Do you guys see this this stitch right here? Like this stitch, this stitch right here. Like this, like my crotch stitch. So you like a crotch stitch. Yes, yes. Okay, a good crotch stitch on a quilt. Hope you guys are taking notes, by the way. So I, I haven't finished my quilt, obviously, but, you know, I, and I don't know if this will ruin the game, gaming experience for you, but right. the goal of the quilt is to cover the desert. <laughs> because the sand is so hot. 
and it's <laughs> it's not good to walk on. <laughs> so, so, so your whole yeah, Arirda, that stitch was for you. That stitch was for you. So wait, the whole point of this game is to cover the entire desert in fabric. Yes, yes. I, the sand is too hot. It's so hot. It is so hot. And yes, Jace. Yeah, he's the winner of 2012's Quilters Got Talent. Exactly. Do you know where I'm supposed to go here, Steve Perry, from the oh, video game uh, journey? If I were looking for a quilt, I would find a piece of metal laying around like this one up ahead. Uh huh. And then uh, I, I close my eyes, and then when I do that, magic surrounds me. Yeah, but this thing. Yeah. Oh, that put the magic in the game. I see. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Nice. Now, what what are some of your favorite? Do you you don't play video games? How do you? Uh, you're in the desert. It doesn't seem like there's a lot to do in the desert. When you're not quilting or looking for pieces of quilt, what do you like to do to kind of pass the time? Oh, I find funny things. Funny things? You find like fun, oh. like 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 wrappers or, or gar garbage or? I'll, I'll put the sand in my hand. Yeah. And then use my microscope to look at the pieces and. Some of the pieces you... don't seem like they should be sand, and it's very fun. Wait, you have a microscope? Yeah, one of these guys died in the desert, and <laughs> I pulled it out of his pocket. I love it. Lulafon, yes, this game is actually really about quilts. This, I... this is actually, this game is about, look at, see? Look at these flying oh, quilts. Oh, that, that would be great for my ultimate quilt. Your ultimate quilt. What, are you collecting them? Uh, I don't think I can collect it. I think I'm just using these to jump around, I think, pretty much. Oh, I think they got the story mixed up with the magic and the quilt. Yeah, I think, I, yeah. I mean, what kind of animals live in the desert? Do you know? Are you a big fan of uh, wildlife? Uh, there's, only, there's only eight animals in the desert. Oh, there's only eight. Okay, let's see if we can uh, name them all. Let's see if we can name them all. There's uh, the, the snake, desert snake. There's two snakes. There's two snakes. There's... What are their names? You got the the asp, the Egyptian asp. Is that it? That name? sounds right. It's from an REM song, I think. And um. And what's that other one? The um, you know the it's like. Uh, I, I call it the the cobra. The you call Though it. Though I don't think it's a cobra. It's not a cobra. I'm not educated. <laughs> yeah, you don't. Where did you go to school? Are there schools in the desert? I'm self-taught. You're self-taught. Oh, that's pretty good. What's the highest number you can count to? Oh, uh, well, eight. Eight. <laughs> I guess that's what happens when you get self-taught. That's right. Good lord. Oh, Emmy Freckle says, I had a choice between this or a doc about the Waco siege of 93. I'm wondering what's more disturbing. Well, I'll tell you what. You're going to learn more from this guy, Steve Perry, from the video game journey, not the band journey, because he's self-taught. He can count up to eight. He already named two fucking snakes. Yes, yes. What are what other animals do we got? We got any any kind of rats or m mice? Or... Uh, there is a night rat. Ooh, there's a night rat. It, when does it come out? Uh, dinner time. They're around dinner time. Okay, around night time. <laughs> around night. I generally eat around eight p.m. Okay. Eight? Oh, what? Now, what kind of food do you, does a quilter eat to get to keep your quilting strength up? Well, like you need you need you need some. Quilting. Let's see these quilting forearms. Look at these. Look at oh, these. Are, oh, look. That's a. The the quilting is about the digit between the first and second mm -hmm. digit. That's mm -hmm. what quilting is about. Mm. Um, that's right. Oblivious Miss. Yes, we should start a movement. Save the quilts. Ooh, look. That's you. That's a close-up of you. Aww. You know, you look way different. Yeah. I gotta say, they really took some liberties with your appearance here I, in this uh, game. You know, I think when they took the picture, I was moving, and it was oh. so blurry. Yeah, that's probably what happened. Yeah, it was, it was when they were, did the mocap. You know, because this doesn't, this doesn't really, I mean, it almost looks like if I didn't know better, I'd say maybe you just grabbed a curtain and a glitter oh. mask, but I know that this is your traditional garb you know, of, of your people. Maybe, maybe we, I met the, did I tell you I met the developer at night? No, no, you didn't mention that part. You didn't mention that. So it was nighttime and you were moving when they took a, a picture. Yes. Uh, the, yeah. The, oh, the, uh, Lulafon says the dinner asp. Also, uh, uh, stop looking under his dress, ya perv. Yeah, I well, can't help. I want to see what's under there. I want to see what they put under there, too, because I had questions. Uh, they kept asking me if I was a man or a woman. Yeah, well... And I said, well, the uh, answer is obvious. <laughs> yeah. I, I'd like to see oh. what they made me. Oh, it's a little awkward. Oh. Little, oh, little awkward there. All right, well, what do you think, uh, since you were in this game, do you think we should just keep running here? <laughs> what do you think we should do? Well... And if anyone has any suggestions about what we should do in this game, let me know. I guess just run towards the big mountain is yes, probably yes. what we should do. 
That's Ronald's mountain. Yes, exactly. Oh, uh, I, J I know Ronald. <laughs> Nacho Libre's cousin. Uh, Chewbacca's dad. He, uh, he looks like Steve Perry. Looks like a Mexican wrestler. Do you know what Mexican wrestling is? Do they? Do you have TV out in the desert? Uh, I've yeah, got I mean, one, but I've got. I don't have a plug. There's no. <laughs> well, so, that makes sense, right? I haven't seen what goes on the a, TV. Ask a stupid question. There you go. I mean, I should. I should have realized that. That was dumb on my part. Now, I gotta say. So, basically, just to recap. To, for for fun, you just look at little pieces of sand under your microscope that yes. some dead scientist left, right? And then for a, oh, I think we're going down here, man. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, it's gonna be scary. Uh, oh, this is bad news. Now see, I'm pretty is, sure this is Gabe's house. This is Gabe. Oh, Gabe lives here. Who's Gabe? Is Gabe your friend? Is oh, he? Oh, he's evil. Oh, he's evil. Evil Gabe lives here. Oh, look, it's getting dark. Oh man. Oh no, evil Gabe. Oh man, oh. should we? I, let's try running through here. I'm sorry. You might see yourself die in this game here. Oh, what a, what oh, an yeah. experience. You know, uh, you know, you, you mentioned that I sent the email. Yes, uh, yeah. that was an express mail. I, I don't know what digital is. Right, that's true, yeah. I, and by email, I meant um, uh, uh, early mail. It's when you get it first thing in the morning. You know, like when FedEx gets It's like pr another way of saying priority. Uh, pri priority, yeah, exactly. Fucking Gabe. I know Marxist Rose Dower. It's fucking bullshit. Gabe's an asshole. We all know it. I, I still don't want to know who your friend is. I don't have any friends. I'd like to meet them. I don't know. I'm not sure who this guy, who this man or woman is. I mean, I think it's obvious. Yes, me too. Probably who it is. Something tells me that we're not going to be able to walk up this thing. Up to Gabe's. Man, Gabe's got a big... What does Gabe do for a living? Oh, Evil uh, Gabe, what does he do? He's an accountant. Yeah, oh, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes... It looks like... You know, that looks like an accountant. House. Looks like Gabe's been doing a little embezzling. All right, you know what? I feel like we're gonna have to go over here and go up on this, on this bridge over here. I think that's this is the key. We gotta get up on this bridge. That's right. Uh, well, maybe I could uh, send an, an email to Gabe. Yeah, maybe you should. Yeah, send yeah send an early mail to Gabe, uh, and ask. Uh, and we practice this, Gabe Kaplan. No, not not Gabe Kaplan. That's nice, Gabe. That's nice, Gabe. Right. Ooh, Half Life Three confirmed. Arirus is two guys in the stream, and there's a number three on the stream. What's the number three about? What? Did, what is this? I don't know. I don't know what Arirus is talking about. Explain yourself, Arirus. All right, I think we should go on this bridge over here. I uh, I don't see any water yet. You say there's a stream? What? What is this? Don't you know what? Don't don't sweat it. It's it's uh it's a whole thing. It's a whole. Te it's technology. It's a bunch of stuff came together. You, uh, what are you drinking over there? You drinking anything? Oh, uh, you got any uh, got any desert beverages? I met a hooker. She gave me this uh, Negro Modelo. It's pretty good. <laughs> I'm drinking uh, tequila, but I'm drinking it out of this mug. Now you might want to take a look at this. I don't know if you can see it. It says uh, "Favorite Christmas." Drink. That's Hanson right there. That's Hanson. Hanson sent me this mug. The band Hanson, my favorite band in the world, sent me this mug. Oh. You want to try some tequila? That's what I've been drinking out of the Hanson mug. Okay. Pretty great. Uh, Kramer, uh, come on. Oh. Oh, I see a reardo. Right, exactly. Half Life 3. That's, I should have guessed that. Uh, no, what is, now, Jello, uh, Jello X11 asks Desert Hookers, are they best hookers? Uh, well, I, I only know Desert Hookers. Um, what are, what are some things you can get from a Desert Hooker? Is it all. Uh, I don't know. Do your people even have sex? Do you? Do you guys? Uh, yeah, of course. Of oh, course. Oh, of course, right. Of course. Uh, the best thing to get from a desert hooker is a sand job. <laughs> Perfect. And sand job though sounds awful. I think I've spent my whole life trying to keep sand and things out of that part of my body. You know. Well, when you when you get enough sand, it actually lubricates itself. <laughs> lubricates itself? How is that even possible? It's like. Uh, Picture, picture a pit full of balls, oh, and uh, a child jumping into the pit full of balls. How easily they, they slip to the bottom. Oh yeah, oh, I see what you're saying. Right, I see what you're saying. So it, but it's like really tiny balls. So you, yes, yes. Yeah, I get it. I get it. All right, fair enough. Uh, no, Kramer, I'm not doing a. Uh, that's that's my friend Kramer. No, I'm not doing a fear and loathing. I've just I just tried to brighten up the desert a little bit, man. Desert's so monochromatic, you know. I got my pal here, Steve Perry, from uh, the video game journey, not the band journey. Hi, hi. But the uh, the video game. Now, a sand job, it kind of lubricates itself. I feel like that would hurt a lot. 
just really hurt. Wow. What do you, do you have currency in the desert? What do you guys um, what do you guys kind of what's your payment? If you have to, let's say you want to go buy. When you sent me that email, how did you do it? What did it cost? Well, the, the sad or? part is, is that quilts are uh, fabric is what is actually we pay each oh, other with. So fabric. this quilt that I'm trying to build slowly goes away whenever I want something like a sand job. Or, right, uh, right. You know, that's true. That's true. Emmy Freckles, sand job sounds unpleasant for everyone involved. That's what I say, but I don't know. These sand oh, people, that's all know, they know. Ah. Uh, I would uh, uh, imagine a, a parallel of something that you enjoy that I wouldn't seem like it would en be enjoyable for me would be uh, toast. <laughs> Why would you burn the soft bread? Well, that you know what? That's a when you put it that way. That's a really good question. Why do people burn bread? That doesn't make any sense to me. And then they put yeah. butter on it to soften it up again. You started with soft. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. You're just trying to reverse your mistake by making toast. That's true. Toast is. A mistake. I agree. It's I, dumb. I don't know why people would make toast. I don't eat sand, but most of my life is sand. So, yeah. uh, like a, you know, like a spider can crawl into your mouth when you're sleeping. Maybe, maybe you roll over and your mouth is open and you get covered in sand. <laughs> What's your? Do you have a favorite kind of sand? Is there a sand that you like? Um, now all the sand looks the same to me. It all just looks sandy. But, uh, but, uh, oh wait. Oblivious Smith says sand jobs are more preferable than dune buggies. Oh, Ugh, okay. What's that? Okay. A, d a dune buggy is, uh, you know, when you're. Yeah, when I, you're I can ride on this guy. When you're going number two and the sand sticks to the hair and creates little doodleberries, that's the sa <laughs> sand buggy. That's the, that's the dune buggy? Yes. Oh my god. I had a dune buggy uh, earlier this week when I went to the beach. Problem, really well, the problem is a dune, uh, dune buggy, when it's, you know, sand on that hair and you begin to wipe after a solid number two. Uh, the sand just rides in there like sandpaper. Oh, God. Oh, so my that, God. That's the dune buggy. You leave the, you leave the tracks oh, behind. Oh, God. Oh, my God. But blood, blood tracks. That's oh, the, God. No, I never even heard of that. I got to drink way more tequila. Some Hanson tequila for that. I, I, I don't think Gabe wants you to come in here. There's electricity happening. Yeah, Gabe's house. I feel like Gabe has been doing some shady shit. This is not the house of an accountant here, Steve. This doesn't look like, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of things, and, and plus he's got a bunch of weird little pets. What's happening? Those look like quilts. I feel like the game is just uh, making fun of me and pointing pointing fingers at me like, oh, my quilts are, are, are magical, and uh, Gabe is keeping them from me. This is not true. Yeah, I agree. Like, I, I don't know if these game developers did you a favor here. First of all, you don't look anything like you do in the game. I mean, they really got your appearance wrong. Second of all, I gotta say, like, it doesn't look like, like, they gave Gabe a really big house. How big is Gabe's house in real life? Is it oh, this big? Eight meters. Eight meters? That's eight meters. It's smaller than this room. These guys didn't oh, get this right no, at all. No, no, uh, Like I said, I can only count up to eight. Uh, yeah. Eight can be very big. Yeah. Some, some eights. No, wait, Chewbac Chewbacca's dad does bring up a really good point. If sand gets in too far up in the crack, you squeeze hard enough, can you get diamonds? Can you make jewels out of that? Uh, yes, but uh, nobody likes a stinky jewel. Famous presence. Nobody likes a stinky jewel. Stinky jewel, my new band name. Uh, so this is telling the... I'm guessing this is telling uh, what's happening here. It's telling the, the story of your people here, right? So this is all... These are all buildings you see that the, were the, the gray plants have turned into buildings because of pro progress. Yeah, so progress. Because, you know, plants have... And buildings, and then what are the big things? That, oh, those look like cats. Are those giant sand cats? On no, top of them? those are owls. Oh, those are owl sand owls. The, the owls are all dead, though. Of course. Oh, d oh, they all died. Yeah, they all died. Was there a plague or something? No. Ooh, we uh, let out. We look how many quilts we let free. Sad to say, but I took the, so many quilts, uh, pieces of fabric away from the desert that the mice had nowhere to hide, and the, mm -hmm. the uh, owls had nothing left to eat, and uh, got it. The food chain was broken. The ecosystem just completely. That's right, exactly. Um, oh man, damn it! I forgot to change the. Sorry, Magic Man. Hold on, you take Steve. You mind taking over for oh. a second? Adam, make a quick change. Is that me? Yeah, that's yeah, that's you. My my legs look like uh, gotta, points. Kind of make a quick change, Aru. My my old, legs look like uh, something old. you would hit a pool ball with. Yeah, a pool a pool ball. How do you know about pool balls? Uh, Hold well, on, I'll be right back, Steve. Everybody, talk to Steve Perry from the video game journey, not the thing. 
Hi, I, I, I'm Steve Perry from uh, the, the Video Game Journey. This, this is based on me and my life from the desert. I, I collect pieces of fabric to make quilts out of them, and uh, this game appears to have just made a mockery of my life. And uh, You're not building a quilt. You're just... There's no reason for you to be running around. Uh, Blay talked about how uh, calming it was to do this, and I, I'm like, this is my life, and... Uh, my life is not calming. Hi. Hi. Uh, my name is Steve Perry because my father's name, uh, f family name was Perry, and uh, after he did the business with mother, they, I became uh, maid, and the family name lives on with me. Do you have any, now do you have any brothers, thank you Magic Man, I changed the uh, thing there. Now do you have any brothers or sisters? Uh, uh, Steve Perry? Like, do, is there a, I don't know, Perry Perry, or is there a... Uh, not by blood, but we are all brothers and sisters, hmm. so... Yes, I okay. I have a lot. You have a, wow, you all, have a lot. I have all of the brothers and sisters. Magic Man says, hey, Steve Perry, don't stop believing. Oh, I never will. I don't, I never will. He never will. He, what do you, now what do you, do you guys have some sort of religion out in the desert? What do you, uh, what do you worship? Well, uh, uh, first off, we, we don't talk about these things, but uh, I know that you're uh, from a different land, and I, I yeah. will tell you. Yeah. Uh, the, re the religion that we have is, um, you know, hide your water, hide your kids. <laughs> that makes and, sense. Uh, that makes sense. It, 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 you know, <laughs> it would be great to share with other people, but then there would be nothing left. So. Wait, what happened? Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, good. We're back. Oh, yeah, I feel you. Now, wait a second. Have you ever heard of Katy Perry? No, no. She's a great singer. She shares your last name. You might be tangentially related. I can kind of, actually, now I kind of see it around the glitter mask. I guess you guys, you and Katie Perry could be kind of related there. I, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know who she is, but, uh, when you say her name, I, I, I get excited and I think about fireworks. Yeah, right, exactly. There you go. Oh, look at this. Oh, man, this is so great. Look at this. We're flying on the quilts. Oh, the game is going away. What, what is this? That's right. They worship Khan, Chewbacca. <coughs> John Gingras, yes, thank you. Thank you for helping Lulafon out. Ooh, Perry Mason? Nope, I don't think so. Are you really are you related to Tyler Perry at all? Do you like any Tyler Perry shows? You say you don't watch any television, but you must have heard of Tyler Perry. He's uh, a uh, he's a, a, a huge uh, TV well, uh, empire builder. Funny story, a, a man named Tyler Perry once tried to get in contact with me to find out if we were related. Ooh. And, um, wait, what, who, who is this guy, Tyler Perry? What, uh, what he, he made, do? like, a bunch of shows, like, uh, Medea, or that's a movie called Medea, and Throw Mama, or not Throw Mama from the Train, something about something else, I don't know. Actually, I don't actually know. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I, I, somebody sent me a mail, uh, express mail once, the email that you talk about. Yeah. And his name was Tyler Perry, and, uh, he, he kept talking about how he couldn't tell if I was a man or a woman. Okay, and but it's obvious. And he told me he was it's going obvious. to make a story about that. This game has turned into a snowboarding game all of a sudden. It's saying, now is this something you... Oh, look at it. Whoa. Oh my god, this is crazy. I didn't know there was so much stuff in the desert. This is really cool. You have a really cool... Uh, you got a you got a really cool area you like to you live in over here. Now, would you ever... Have you ever been... Uh, is this your first time in America? Uh... Is that what you call? That's uh, well, that's what we call our country. Is America? Okay. Yeah. Uh, no. Right. No. Oh, you've been to America before. Where are some places in America you visited? Uh, Chewbacca's dad. This game is awesome. This is. I, great. I went to Milwaukee. Ooh, Milwaukee. All right. Yes. Yes. Milwaukee, right? And uh, I went to. Uh, uh, there's a place uh, called Kansas. Can there is a place called Kansas. That's true. You were in Kansas. I was next. I was Kansas adjacent once. Very, Kansas. It was fun to be there. Kansas adjacent. You know, there's a band called Kansas too. They were uh, uh, kind of peers to uh, Journey, uh, another Steve Perry band, Journey. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Um, Brooklyn, Brooklyn Queen. I know he's uh, uh, Steve Perry's actually better at video games uh, than I am. I, uh, I I'd like to answer this question, Magic Man. Magic Man 19. Uh, Magic Man 19, how do you get water? Um, well, you know, we don't make water. It, it just, uh, you have to find it. And uh, you have so, to find it. so we find it. 
Uh, generally, uh, you have to leave the desert and then come back. <laughs> you mean you mean you don't actually find water in the desert? You oh, find there's it. no water in the desert. <laughs> <laughs> hide your water, hide your kids. Right? Yes, yes. So normally, I find one of the eight animals in the desert and ride it to the water area. That's right. And uh, so far, I think the animals that we've learned of are uh, the snake, the the two snakes, the uh, the night rat. Yes, yes. The owl. The we owl, which you killed by killing all, yeah, by yeah. taking all the pieces of fabric that the night rats lived under, and then the things. And then uh, Arirda says this game is LA in about five years. Yeah, try five months, dude. Yes, yes. I I hear you are in a drought, but I walk around and. Uh, all of the faucets have water pouring out of them. So what is... I do not see a drought. Yeah, exactly. I do love that thing it said on the internet. Uh, it's that meme where it's like the woman with the first world problem that says, I have nothing to drink in my house except an endless supply of fresh water. Which is oh. fantastic. That's true. You don't have that in the desert. You don't get... You don't have an endless supply. You have to ride... Uh, what's another animal? We've only gone through, I think, four or five of them. Uh, uh, what's the biggest animal? What's the, the animal that's the biggest that, you, that you're scared of? Uh, the, the, the camel. The, you're scared of camels? Yes, they they chew the mouth all day. It's very suspicious. Wait, they're just untrustworthy. What's that? What, that's that's there's that is that sc that's scary? You just don't trust them? Did you ever tell a camel your secrets and then it told somebody else? Why don't you trust a camel? Well, uh, they're very good at hiding their water. First off. That's true. They had it in their and house. Secondly, uh, if if you've ever smelled a camel's pee, <laughs> uh, I, I actually really have, and uh, it, it's very unpleasant. But, you, you, but really? you want to keep it because there's not no water in the desert, so you have to collect the camel pee, and the whole time you're collecting is looking at you, and and you don't trust him, and you're collecting his pee. <laughs> And uh, you wait for the smell why to go away. Why are you collecting you the pee it. of a camel? And the de why? I don't understand. Wait for water? To, to, for water? Yes. Yes. Oh, for water? You have to drink camel. That sounds like an awful life. Now why don't you just leave the desert? Just leave. Well, uh, you know, you get you get used to what you get used no, to. No, that's true. I guess the devil you know is better than the devil you don't. But that's why I have such good teeth because the camel pee is mostly fluoride. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, get in close there. You do have good teeth. Get in close. Show the people your teeth there, Steve. Oh yeah, he's got great teeth. That's all camel pee, you guys. That's all camel pee. That's pretty great. Pretty uh, yeah, yes, you you have to hold eye contact while collecting the pee, <laughs> Flurgan, Flurgan. Uh, as soon as your eye contact breaks, the, the camel races away with his soft toes. <laughs> with his soft toes. Oh, very. You got to you got to keep the eye contact. <laughs> How I, I didn't know that camels had soft toes. That's great. What are some other facts about camels that we don't know? That maybe um, like soft toes, like. You know, are they good at any sports? Are camels, do camels excel at any particular kind of sport? Uh, one, one trick is that their hair is like, uh, like a, a nice blanket. So if you, if you rub your hand one way, yeah, it, it settles that way. Oh, and then okay. if you rub it back, it settles the other oh, way. Oh, wow, okay. Kind of like when you were vacuuming your floor earlier. It was leaving patterns everywhere. Yeah, that's true. I'm so, like, I don't clean up or vacuum my floor, but I know it, like normal people would vacuum your floor. So right. we, we draw each other on the camel's side. Oh, that's kind of fun. That, that's our pictures. That's, oh. our, that's our art. You guys kind of use camels as whiteboards. Yes, then. yes. Okay, you guys have kind of like tan boards. Do you guys ever play uh, win, lose, or draw on a camel? You ever do that? You ever do uh, you know that Everyone is a loser in the desert. <laughs> So we, we don't try to remind ourselves that winning right. is possible. <laughs> right, I see. Just no hope is better than an, than any hope at all. Exactly. It's a, oh, camel toe. Yep, that's right, Lulafon. We're talking about camel toes. Well done. Oh, I didn't even notice I made that one. That's right. J John Ginger says, thanks for the... Or, 9 out of 10 dentists recommend new crest camel pee. Yeah, the, the, the trick is, though... The stripe of camel you know, pee uh, in there. Uh, you know, they, they put fluoride in your water out here. That That's a big sham. Oh, you, fluoride. You, Fluoride's it, a big it, sham. It doesn't, uh, you know, help your teeth to digest fluoride. So you, you've got to hold that camel pee in your mouth <laughs> right. for uh, a day. A and then day? An entire day? Yeah, you got to fight. you got to fight those cavities. Wow. That is ha that's hard work, holding that camel pee in there like that. That's crazy. I, you know, you, you grow up and you learn th that people yeah. think that things are hard that you took for granted, you know. You're right. You're right. Now, is there anything, you know, one thing that was really hard for me when I was growing up was that a driver's ed was tough, like learning how to drive a car. Like, uh, do you ride, are you riding camels? Or you, since you don't trust them, 
Would you just rather walk? What do you What do you use for cars in the desert? Oh, How do you get uh, around? If you If you you know create a sack to lay down in and wrap it around the camel, a then sack. Uh, if you can constantly yell, the camel is spooked. So you yell, and the camel moves, and he drags you. Right. And if you want to turn left, then you then you staccato the noise. Hawk, 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 hawk. That, that's wait, that, that's how you that's how you stop a camel is by. No, no, that's how you make him turn left. Oh, left is what again? Hawk, 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 hawk. And then what's what if I want if I need to turn right? What uh, do I do with the camel? Uh, then then you do that noise but backwards. Hawk, 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 hawk. And then how do you make a camel go faster? What are some things? Oh, d- loudness. Loudness, okay. Lo- uh, just like... It, uh, it, it fools him into thinking that you're getting closer to him. Got it. Got it. Okay. They're, they're, they're very perceptive, but but not smart. Right, that makes sense. That makes sense. Not, but very, they, they see a lot, but they don't know a lot. Oh, did I, did I purchase my outfit? Uh... I, I did pay for this outfit with blood. I, I collect, blood? collected the fabric around the desert and made this outfit. Oh my god, would, would maybe I'm supposed to go through I might try going through these things. What do you think about that? Steve? Oh it looks like a like a, a, sh- a shitty old snowboarding game where you have to go through the gates. Yeah, it does. It does, Steve, it really does. I can't believe they did this to you. They made this game of your life. I I think. Uh, you know, you, did you ever do this in real life? Do you ever do this sand snowboarding sand? Or you just... Oh no! Uh, what happens is, well, we did try this early on, but when you start sliding yeah. down sand, your your sphincter relaxes, and then and then sand just rides oh, into your oh God. intestines. Oh, and you just get dune buggied. Yes, yes. You just get dune buggied so, all day long. And you can't go forward for the same reason. Oh you know? God! So, uh, it gets it, up your pee hole or whatever you've got. Yes, I mean, yes. It's obvious. That you're your sex is obvious. Oh, we're getting into a dark. Oh my god, this oh. is. I'm a little bit scared here, Steve. I'm not he... gonna lie to you, buddy. Well, uh, you know, it's just Gabe's place. He's only he can only be in one spot. <laughs> it's true. That's true. Wow, this game is gorgeous. Are there uh, are there bad uh, bad boys in this game? I not so far. I haven't run across any bad boys. I mean, the desert is its own I bad mean, boy. I guess this yeah. game is just teasing me with, you know, fabric that can fly. Because... Yeah. I have to dig through the sand to find fabric. That's right. Yeah, you don't. You don't get. Uh, wow, this is. These are like. Whoa! Holy Moses! Uh, pr- this is like you know. Hey, pretend like you're underwater. Yeah. And uh, I can't. I can't pretend like I'm underwater. What? No. What are we doing? E- you don't even know. You've never even seen that much water in your entire life. What's the most water you've seen at once? Uh. Do you remember a, a time when you were maybe a child, or one time when you left the desert to go to what's your I, I found a, a cup called a giant Slurpee. Okay. 64 ounces of water in one spot. Oh my God, that's crazy. It was, it was I, I, I put my hand in the, to the water. That is amazing. And some of it spilled off the side and I... That's right. No. That's right. Now wait a second. Yeah, Magic Man says, the ga- this game you always lose because you're always in the desert. Yes. That's right. The, ooh, the fabric of your life. Uh, hey, Stealth Drone, what's up? This is, if you're just joining us, this is, uh, we're playing Journey today. And this is Steve Perry from the band, from the game Journey, not the band Journey, but from the game. We're playing, he's the main character of Journey. He mm-hmm. looks a little bit different in real life. They, they base this game around me. I grew up in the mm-hmm. desert and I collect fabric to make quilt. That's right. Tell him a, a little bit about, uh, I don't mean to keep bringing this up because I'm sure it's embarrassing, but uh, what happened to the, uh, the desert owl? Oh, the desert owl is no longer with us. Yeah. Um, you see, what happened was all the quilt, uh, the fabric that I, pieces that I collect, that's where the desert rat used to hide. And, well, the owls had nothing left to eat. So. Yeah, so then the, the owls died there. In a uh, sense, I killed the desert owl. You did. You're the, you're the killer of the desert owl, and, but also the star of this game, which is pretty great. Oh, no, wait, who's this person here we, that we see? Oh, that's my favorite dream. Oh, this is your favorite dream? Yes. Cool. Is this... Uh, do you, what happens in, in this dream? Is it like a, is it a sex dream? Is it like a sex dream? Yes, or? I uh, a large version of myself takes hold of me, and I can't I can't get away. And uh, then we continue the family name, if you know what I'm saying. No, I don't know what you're saying. Well, uh, sometimes when a, a, a one part goes into the other, uh, it can create a new being. I, I'm you, still, I'm still you, not following. And the, the more uh, times that you push, you know, the more, the stronger 
the new baby will be. Huh. It, 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 this is just a typical sex dream. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. You know, oh, I see. Where you, you have a dream having sex with a larger version of yourself that <laughs> won't let you get away. It's very typical. So being kind of attacked and sexually assaulted by an older version of yourself. Yeah. I think we've all had that dream. That makes sense. All right, I think we just saw something we're supposed to do, and I think it's we're supposed to blow up a giant spaceship. That's what it looked like in hieroglyph oh. hieroglyphic form. Yeah, we we have no business being in space. I, I would like to blow up all the space machines. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's part of the story. That's right. Yeah, Lulafon, it's a sex dream consisting of lots of different fabrics. Uh, yes, Jace, his, his sexual fantasy is being... Uh, is having sex with a larger version of himself. It's, you know, there's no danger in that because I know me, so I, I know that I'm not a mean guy. Yeah, but Chewbacca's dad says I think that's the story of Looper. That's definitely the story of the, the porno version of Looper. What would the porno version of Looper be called? Like, uh, labia -er? The, uh, pooper. <laughs> Pooper. And, uh, it's a very, very specific kind of poop. Older version of yourself poops on you. Trying to destroy you. And poop on you. Poop on your chest. An older version of yourself is trying to shit on your own chest. It's pretty great. Uh, that's true, Magic. Actually, Magic Man says, in reality, space is a desert in its own right. That's actually the smartest thing that's been said on the street. Oh, today. yes. Uh, uh, very uh, no moisture. Uh, su surprises on the micro level. Yeah. Sure. Absolutely. Vast. Vast. Pointless. Pointless. That's right. Uh, here we go. Oh, what do I think of R.J. Thaneman? Th th yeah. Have you ever met R.J. Thaneman? Uh, I met him at a pool party once. Oh, you did? You yes, did. That's yes. right. At, at, Very briefly. Right here, I think, actually. Uh, I, I had right. nothing but uh, good thoughts about him, but we didn't get into a good conversation because... I was chasing some tail on the other side of the pool. <laughs> I think you might have been. I think you might have been. And it wasn't no quilt either. Exactly. Uh, all right. Booner. P oh, Pooner, of course. Well, no, Looper. No, no. We're getting, we're getting a uh, pool party in the desert to steal his body. All right. Where should we go here? Let's figure this out. This game is gorgeous, by the way. We're playing Journey. It's beautiful. If you, if you haven't picked it up, you really should. Oh, it's look, great. it says a dead whale in the desert. That's, that shouldn't be there. No. What's a dead whale doing in the desert? It's crazy. Uh, Let's see here. I don't, you know, I like uh, I like a, a peaceful game, but then I get upset when I go, what? You're not collecting pieces of quilt. You're running around. What? Yeah, you're right. We haven't collected a single piece of quilt, and that's the, well, that's what you do. So we haven't collected a single piece of quilt in a long time. I'm not sure what we're supposed I, to be doing uh, here. You know, it, it makes me question, uh, could this be a tool for the government to keep us, our minds busy. Maybe. And forget about the day. That's true. Because honestly, we should all be roaming around our real surroundings, that, right? Yeah, you're right. That's exactly right. Now, wait a second. Do you and do the other, uh, are they called sand people? What do we call your people? Uh, Noxni. The no the Noxni, okay. Yeah. It almost sounds like you just made that up on the spot, but I know you didn't. No, it, that's... it comes from uh, when you oh. It gets so dry that you can hear your bones knocking. No oh, no, oh, knock knee, knock knee. Got it. All right. So, do you and the other knock knee, um, like, what do you guys talk? Do you guys talk about politics? Do we, you guys talk about? Uh, we only have one politics, so you only have one politics. It's an easy conversation. Yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. And we, oh, see here, we're collecting some fabric. Oh, put it in your pocket. There we go. There we go. We're flying with it here. We're flying with it. Okay. There we go. Jay says this is still more exciting than the Star Wars prequels. Uh, only plays medic. Does this game even have 2D anime waifus? I don't know what that is. What are two waifus? I don't even know what that means. No, I'm 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 stupid. Maybe it was a typo. <laughs> Chewbacca's dad. This is the story to make an Ameri how to make an American quilt. Exactly. Uh, funny though, because I I'm not American, and uh, this story is about me, and I I uh, would not make a quilt for an American. That's true. Right. Americans are they're gross. They're you, gross people. Why, why should I give you a quilt when you cover your your you know your privates with an extra piece of clothing? <laughs> the underwear. What? Yeah. We waste we waste fabric. We're throwing it in your face. Yes, yes. You guys treat fabric so preciously, but we don't we're just like, let's put on a thousand pieces of clothes. That's it. I mean I'm wearing a hat. This is totally although it is blocking my skin from the desert sun. 
that's, that's, good, I, that's a good point. Tried to brighten up the desert a bit. I don't know if it's working. Um, hey, it looks like there's something shiny. Oh, yeah, wait, let's go in there. No, I've not played uh, Jello. I've not played One Late Night. But I've played this. I played at late at night, if that counts. What is that? A, a jewel? Is that a, a reward? Let's go in here. Let's go in here. Let's see what this is. Oh, we got it. We got some magic. I think it made our little scarf longer. Your scarf. I think it made it longer when that happens. Oh, this thing's pretty long, you know? Yeah, no, yeah, you got a pretty long scarf. Look at how long that scarf is. That's pretty great. Yeah, I mean, this is this is what we're aiming for, basically. This is what we're aiming for. Oh, Chewbacca said, yes, the, I understand now about the anal diamonds, but I have not seen any sand anywhere, so I I don't I don't know if you would really get the diamonds that you speak of. Now, let me ask you a question, Steve Perry, from the video game journey. There's been uh, sand people, set, kind of like yourselves, depicted on screen, most notably Star Wars, the Tusken Raiders, the Ewoks, the Jawas. How do you uh, think these sand people have been portrayed on screen, on the silver screen? Well, uh, uh, <coughs> kind of accurate because, uh, you know, though, just we just make noises to each other. Okay. And uh, normally when something happens, you just roll it back over and over to make it last longer. Right, that's true. Um, uh, no friends, no friends. You never, you never see the Tusken Raider laughing at his buddy's, uh, you know, antics. That's true. They, t they all seem very serious. Do you guys like to joke around in the desert? Do you guys have like, uh, like little inside jokes or pranks you like to play on each other? Oh, yes, uh, uh, here's one. Oh, uh, I heard they had water at Gabe's house. <laughs> <laughs> Gets them every time. That's that's. I mean, I, I I don't really understand that joke. But then again, I'm not a I'm not like a sand person, so it's hard. Uh, it's hard. Uh, it's hard for me to do that. This game is just ripping off the ocean. What? L look at it. That's right. Exactly. Oh, people are saying only plays meta. Give cloaked Rob Schneider the controller. We need to see his sales. This is Steve Perry. All right. Do you want to play? You want to play here, Steve I, Perry? I tried earlier, but go for it. Go uh, for it. Uh, all you do is you just run around. With this, and then you can hit this, and it'll. I'm not exactly sure what it does, but it it makes it kind of an X. I think makes you jump up when you're charged. You can kind of fly around a bit, but then you got to recharge from these ribbons and stuff. What? This is kind of like yeah, we're weirdly like underwater here, kind of, which is interesting. In but in the sandy desert. My my biggest pet peeve is that there's this traveler who's always hey. Yeah. Who the Guy. Oh, is that a, a, maybe another player online? That's right. God damn it. Is a, are you connected to the Wi-Fi? I am. I am. Yeah, I think it's another player online. I don't know who can it I, is. Can I attack? I don't think you can attack. Wow, you're so you're so militant. That's how it is in the desert, huh? You just, as soon as you see someone, you just want to... Yeah, uh, he, could, he could be stealing the camel pee that I've been saving up for. <laughs> That's true. This is true. Uh... Magic Man, uh, I still didn't answer how I go to a pool party with no water. Easy, it's an empty pool party. Skateboarding. There you go. Thought I didn't have an answer for that one. You know, I I could see myself doing the. Wow, where are you? Where are you? Where did you even go? This, look at this. This game is crazy. I could see myself eating the mushrooms and getting lost in this, but I I don't get I don't get what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't know. You know what John Gengar says? There's another version of yourself. Maybe you should pass on your name. Wait, maybe this is when you can. Relive your fantasy of Aww. having sex with an older version of your bigger version. Can, of your can son. we print? Do you have a 3D printer? <laughs> no, I don't. I can order one via email. I think we've come to the end of the game. I think this is it. We beat it. This is it. This is the end. It's a sand abyss. Exactly. Where's everyone at tonight? Where's everyone at? Where are you guys at? Oh. Also, I'm drinking. If you're just joining us, I'm drinking my tequila tonight out of uh, this Hanson mug. Hanson, the band, sent me this mug. Look at that. Bunch of nice guys. Love that band. Mm Bop for life. I think I... I think <laughs> I got us stuck. Uh, Chewbacca's dad says Steve Perry is sounding a little Scottish the later it gets. Oh, the, I, more, the more uh, Steve Perry's been drinking, he, the more Scottish you get. My my real issue is I I can't do accents, and this is just kind of a, a, a mixture of well, sounds. You know, exactly. Oh, we got a bunch of Portland folks. Arirda, right? I'm sorry, you are in Portland. San Antonio, there we go. Caribbean, Chewbacca's dad. New Jersey, New York. Wow, it's late there, guys. Thank you for watching us. Blob and Lulafon. Man, 
Uh, ooh, Utah. Oblivious Miss, I knew that. Oh. Jason, ATL. Tequila Bop, exactly. Only plays medic, says I, I'm oh, naked except for these clothes that I'm wearing. Vermont. Ooh, Portland. Uh, Ashley. Uh, wow, Ashley, you're in Portland. I didn't know that. Now I know. Uh, only plays medic. I'm naked underneath all my clothes. So is this guy. I, I, I really think I got us stuck. I, I can't get up. Jesus Christ, Steve Perry. Let's find I, out where we're going here. All th right. This was a fun game. No, no, look, now Steve I'm in Perry. The dark. No, Steve Perry, look, we just gotta energize these things, and then we can jump up them. See? Oh. See, there we go. We can fly right up them. Here we go. We'll energize these things. Oh. We, we we don't do the jumping in the desert. This game is not accurate to my <laughs> to your experience. Yes, yes. <laughs> your life experience. Yeah, we can go all the way up. Oh, Jesus. What is that extra ribbon one? Uh, I don't the, know. It's like a giant weird jelly. Oh, Jesus. Let me see if I can get on that guy. There we go. Oh. Can we get on this puppy? Let me see if we can fly up here. Oh, there's a jewel you need to collect. Oh, yeah. We got that guy. All right. That uh, looks sort of like a Nazi symbol. Is that... Uh, <laughs> what is this game? I'm not exactly sure. Wow, you guys know about Nazis? And now, what do you think of the movie Lawrence of Arabia? That was a very famous movie that took place. Uh, he had too much makeup on. <laughs> right. You guys don't wear a lot of makeup. No, no. Do you smoke? Oh, Chewbacca's dad wants to know, do you smoke sandweed? Uh, well, I I don't want to say on uh, in front of people in case my uh, niece is watching. <laughs> <laughs> Your sand niece. But, uh... Who knows? I don't know. Look at what we're wearing, what we're doing on Friday night. <laughs> figure, figure it out. I, I hear this is the night of parties, the Friday, and the Friday. here right. we are. And here we are, exactly, partying. All right, here we go. I think I think we're supposed let's get up here and go. Did we come through this way? I, I You know, I, the game looks great. I don't like the idea of jumping up ribbons. I uh, We should be we should be storing these. Right, you're right. It, it's so wasteful. So wasteful. Here we go. Hi, Thor Chazar. Exactly. Ch Chazar. Hey, Thor. What's up? We, yeah, we sniff very sandy cocaine. Ooh, now see, this looks bad. This looks like more Gary. Oh no. Don't worry, everybody. I've got just, uh, the, just the ticket for that. If this were the desert, uh, everywhere you dig would be uh, an old lo loved one that died years before. <laughs> oh my God, that's so dark. So wait, the de you're saying the desert's just one big graveyard? Yes, yes. Wow, that is. That is dark. That is dark. Yes, oh. this is Fear and Loathing in San Vegas. Exactly. Uh, Ooh, now Brooklyn Queen asked, do you ever eat your cloth when you're really hungry? Oh, uh, no, what happens is, um, you know, if I, if I get too full, I will take whatever I'm eating and just soak it into my robe, and then later on I build saliva up and I can suck on that and get Jesus Christ! My mouth again. Oh my God! Steve. Whoa! I thought this was a peaceful game. Ah! Uh, is this stranger going to help? I don't think so. You know what? Maybe these guys can't talk to each other because their mouths are full of camel pee. Oh, the, the, oh yeah. I, you know, it, once you get the pee in there, you got to wait for a day. Yeah, you, this is the day that we're waiting. I mean, that was that was really scary. Uh, hey, Thor, what's up? Yes, uh, if, if you're just joining us, this is... Um, this is Steve Perry from this video game, Journey. He's the main character of this game. He... he emailed me last week and said he wanted to come on the stream uh, so we're having him on and we're finding out there's a lot of discrepancies between the way that this game depicts his life and his actual real life oh uh, Lulafon asks what do I eat uh, I would say I'm closer to a scavenger yeah sure okay whatever like, I find so like subway sandwiches the people don't finish like the the six inches the foot longs like if someone orders a foot long and they don't finish it then you get what like four or five inches from that yeah yeah or oh man he's taking all of the oh man the that's fabric a uh, sometimes you know you gotta eat the parts of the uh, body parts of people that you find because you haven't eaten and well, what, what, you find a dead guy what, you're a cannibal uh, it, you look so Nice in this game. You eat human. You eat humans. Well, like a cannibal only counts if you kill the the human. If you, if you just find no, him and eat no, him. a cannibal counts if you eat them. That's not just about. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. That does not count. Wait, you just eat people? Sure. Do you put? How do you 
cook them? Do you put them on sandwiches? Uh, yeah, Jesus, whoa, 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 whoa. He shot at him. Uh, well, you know what? He ate our friend there, but we're clear. Oh, he did eat it, didn't he? Well, whatever. I, uh, you know what I like to put on a, uh, a human sandwich is a little bit of, uh, if you let the sand soak in a camel's mouth and then pick it out, and right. the sand is soft, and so it's just like salt. Oh, well, that's true. That makes sense. Wait a second. I think we got to stay out of this guy's spotlight. Don't you think? This game all of a sudden got real scary. I, I don't way. think you can beat this one, right? As she's avoiding him? Yeah, yeah, I think, I think we got Because you don't have a weapon. No, I don't. And my mouth is full of camel pee, apparently. Oh, Jesus. Can't uh, get me, I'm in here. Can't get me. Uh, Magic, Man Magic Man 19 says I thought you Oh, were my God! Oh, no. Oh, no. Why, why did you let me die? But my scarf is short. Yeah. We gotta get out of this room quick. Oh, oh no, dude, we uh, gotta we gotta run away. Uh, Magic Man 19 says I thought you were scared of camels. Uh, I am scared of camels if you can't control one. So you gotta keep the eye contact. I get you. A camel that looks away from you is suspicious. So Jesus, this is this the game got really freaky all of a sudden, man. Oh. This game is freaking me out. May oh, here we go. Here we go, Steve Perry. Here we go. Maybe uh, this creature has a better reason for uh, collecting fabric. We yeah. Why don't you ask him? When you ask the creature... Yeah, what are... Are those one of the creatures that are in the desert? Which one is that? The desert rat? No, this is... This is... This is uh, false reality. False reality. This is all in our brain. We've done some desert drugs. We've smoked some desert weed. Now we're all we're doing is just seeing these giant cre scary creatures. This is not cool. I think there's I, one waiting for us up here, man. I'm nervous. Here, can you put this into the game to no. add to your scarf? No, I can't. Oh, no. He's going to get me. Ah! No. Oh. Whoa. What? Oh. Electrical city is... Oh, my is God. Ah! Oh, yes. Oh, we were saved by... A giant building. Have you ever uh, seen this uh, thing in the game, a uh, city like this? No, I've never seen this. This is crazy. Oh, it looks like we get to have the, the relive the dream again I have. Of... Yeah. Oh, yeah, of making love to our larger self. Oh, there I am. Yeah, we're, I'm drinking sand tequila. Yes, exactly. Oh, here it is. Here it is. You get to make love to your older self. Uh, Brooklyn Queen, I've played Dying Light. It's way too hard to play with Conan. It's just, he wouldn't get it. It's just way too difficult. Is this trying to tell us a story? I, I so. You know, this looks uh, kind of religious. In the background, it looks like the, the mountain that Moses split. Yeah, that's true. I don't know if you guys can hear on the stream the uh, police helicopter uh, circling my house. That's cool. By cool, I mean horrifying. I, uh, I must. Jesus, this is how I imagine shrooms. You imagine shrooms as what we look like or what we're acting like? Because we're. Oh wait, what's going on? Whoa, that's. I think that's us. That's you, Steve. Oh, you're a very important guy. Uh, does sand tequila have a worm in it? Uh, the answer is no, because only mezcal has a worm in it. Ah, in your face. So, uh, Sorry. Sand, sand mezcal. Sna Yeah, the cops are looking for desert drugs. The cops are looking for two people dressed up playing video games. They're they're on this they're on the street. <laughs> like, what's going on? I'm uh, curious about uh, the. Now it looks like we're in an office. Yeah. We're going. Where are we go. Hey, wh yeah. Where do you work? Do you work in an office? Oh, I work freelance. You work freelance. <laughs> if somebody needs a rock moved. Maybe I can move it. <laughs> there we go. Landscaping, basically. You freelance landscaping. Do you want to, but Steve, if you want to jump in, you want to play, by all means. I, you know, it'd be a waste of time for me to play. Are you sure? I, all I did was run in circles and fall down a hole. Well, all right. I'm just, just letting you know. If you want to jump in, Steve, you're more than welcome. 
Yeah, Je Jello says the cops are looking for Steve the infamous desert cannibal. <laughs> I told you it's not a cannibal if you if you found the body. <laughs> Magic Man says he just moves rocks, no landscaping. That's true. You you're just more. You don't make the land beautiful. You just do. You you just move rocks around. Yeah, exactly. And you know the winds change the landscape anyway. So yeah, sure. So what's the point? So, landscaping is ridiculous. Let's go up here. What's up here? Nothing's up here. Oh, Brooklyn Queen. I don't I don't want to play. I I'm not good. Exactly. Yeah, Chewbacca's dad makes a good point. Steve, is this traumatic for you, playing a lame representation of your life? I mean, how do you feel? I mean, obviously, you're angered. But, I mean, this game is beautiful. I, you know, it kind of makes me think of what could be. What could be, right. So, it, it, it's not upsetting, but it Man. could get depressing by myself right. thinking about the things I could be doing. That's true. That's true. But instead... No, wait, Journey was one of my... Oh, Skip Repeat. Journey is one of my favorite games I've played so many times. So it's to play, but goddamn stressful to watch someone else play. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's how I am, because I, I don't normally run straight. Yeah, I would say... Uh, um, that's true. On Borderlands, when I played with you, you were all over the place. Yeah, You're yeah. very quick in the Borderlands. That's crazy. What level are you at Borderlands? You're like a million. Levels. Oh, I, I haven't played in a while, but uh, I was up there. I had all the max characters, you know? Man, awesome. Steve, do you know who Kasha is? And this sounds like a setup to a joke because I'm familiar with the serial Kasha. Is this, mm -hmm. is this where we're going? A, a bad joke? Is that is that where we're going? Good morning, Quantum Epiphany. Where are you at, Quantum? I think Quantum is Quantum in England. What is Kasha? That's true, Magic Man. There is Borderlands in the desert. This game is better than watching someone play Spore. Well, good. I'm glad. Here we go. We got to get up there, I think. Ah, you don't know where you should go. Oh, wait, I'm up here. Here we go. These things are... I think these things make our scarf longer, which means I think we have more life. That's like life to us. Whoa, here we go. Uh, only med plays medic says I'm more of a borderland... bonerlands type guy. Borderland... bonerlands. In London, it's 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Oh, good lord. Good Morgan. Is that the, is that the guys? No, nope. Are those those guys? No, no, that's Germany, I think you're thinking of. There's no, you don't know the, that's true, you don't, you don't know a lot of the, uh, the customs unless it's like a desert, unless there's a desert. I don't think there's any deserts in Germany, are there? No, there, no. I don't, I, it's far, oh, oh uh, shite. Oh no, I'm gonna fall down. No! Oh, we have to start over. Is that a glowing area? Is that where you came oh, from? Oh no! Or is that another secret area? We're doing so good. Damn it! Yeah, it's longer nice... scarf, longer flight. Says skip repeat. Well, I know, but the problem is, I just screwed up, and now I gotta get all the way back up here again. All right, here we go. I think I used all my juice. Does your juice regenerate by itself? Nine. Oh, were you in Mad? Did you see Mad Max? No, we're neighbors, though. Oh, you're neighbors. That, that guy was collecting all those girls and uh, stealing all my spray paint. Yes, that's true. That's true. That's true. You die, you live, you die, you live again. I think is how it goes. Now, wait a second. I think I think the other guy just helped, really helped us out there and beat this level for us. Oh, Lulafon, so why is that your accent, you ask? Uh, he was you have the accent to me. Oh, good one. Good one. Up top, Steve. Up top. Tell him what your name is. There we go. All right, we gotta get up. I think we gotta get up. Oh man, that guy's so far up there. All right, we're going. Let's go. So hey, uh, skip repeat. Uh, the the people hanging out around us. Those are other people online, and can can they help us? I don't know. Here we go. Here we go. We're going up this jellyfish guy. There's one right here too. Energize this guy. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We're up here. No wait, what do we do up here? Did we? Oh, we gotta get over there. I, uh... You know, while I'm here, I was wondering if I could eat some of your sugar cereals. We don't have those. <laughs> I don't think I have any sugar. I'm trying not to eat any carbs. I don't have any sugar cereals. What's that big thing exploding? Oh, jeez. Did I just fall down? Did I just fall down? Nope, nope. We're doing good. We're doing good. Oh, there's your buddy, me. That's right. Yeah, Lulafon, he can hear your accent. He does that. Yes, other travelers. 
He's from the gate, Great Desert Valley. I keep saying, seeing people say Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> I need to, I need to play that game, but I don't have a PC that'll play it. I mean, I do, but All right, maybe we should go into the center. Oh wait, let's go up. What do you think if we go across? Those things will energize us. Well, you see that what he's doing, right? Is that really another guy? Like, I think so. That's I think a lot it, of flying. I think so. Yeah. I think. All right. Let's do it. Oh, he's on the jelly. He's on the jelly. We got to get on that jelly. Let's get on that big jelly. Let's do it. We're getting on the jelly. Let's do it. Yeah. On that jelly. Dude, it's like a... Oh. Let's get up. Yeah, here we go. See, we're supposed to... You ever wonder who built all this stuff? <coughs> oh, it's Gabe. I told you. Oh, Gabe. That's right. I thought Gabe was evil. This looks like a good place. Uh, oh, Chewbacca's dad. Yes, this is on PS4. He's just a he's just a accountant. Want to eat a camel scrotum? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, what does camel scrotum taste like? Only if I found one. It's like chewing on coconut. You, you just can never get enough chews in. You know, uh, could chew for days and not be able to swallow the the chew scrotum. Chew for days? Good lord, man! All right, where are we going here? Do I get on that big thing again? We gotta keep going up, I think. Alright, there we go. He's gonna come by and we're gonna get on this guy. Uh, Chewbacca's dad says, Steve, the music of your world is amazing. Uh, yeah, I agree, but this is just a one-man band. Oh, it's just uh, one guy? Yeah, yeah. That's kind of cool. You know, he's he's got metal pants and that's what the clanging is. And he, <laughs> he's he got steps. He's got metal pants. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's one way to... That's, that's an instrument I've never played before. Yeah, camel scrotum jerky, exactly. I've never actually had camel jerky. I don't know if they made it. I don't know if they make camel jerky. Do they? They probably make, they make everything jerky. Mm, I would imagine that... <laughs> you just ruined camel scrotum for me, thanks. Oh, may maybe if you baked it. That's true, you could always bake... Don't forget, you could bake camel scrotum. That is true. That's very true. That's a good point. Uh, oftentimes, I don't... I'll find a human body and just have and just have to eat it without any, you know, cooking involved. Yeah, that's true. You know what? Do, I, I have weird jerky. Do you want some weird jerky? Oh, I, I actually have a really bad gag reflex. Do you really? Trying different meats can send me on a... Is that true? Yes, You yes. only eat human and camels. Right? Yes, yes. Oh, sense. no. Oh, no, wait. Seeing all this talk falling down here. All right. Sometimes the wrong smell can set me off. I've, Is that true? I've puked in my car before <laughs> by myself. Is that true? What? I, uh, what smell set you off that you puked in your car? Or your sand car, uh, I mean. I, I think I drove over a, a dead animal and the rottenness. Uh, oh, God. Oh, my God. That's, that's a terrible... That's very... That's a rotten... That is a really rotten animal. That is just amazing. I, uh, I actually... Uh, Where did you go up here? My first year in college, I could not understand the concept of all you can eat. And I would eat every meal. I would eat so much until I puked. <laughs> and uh, I lost 30 pounds the first month of college. Just because you were puking so much. Yes, yes. Oh, shit. Fall. Damn it. Where am I supposed to go here? The other guy left us. Did you light up all the lighted areas? I think I did, yeah. Well, the other guy did, yeah. Should I go to the middle? Where, where do we think I should go here? My, my first college was uh, just my uncle. Just, oh, just, oh, just your uncle telling you what's what. Here yeah. we go, I'm gonna go over here. And he had an all-you-can-eat buffet. And that's what happened. You just... Here we go, we're going up here. We're gonna try to get on this thing. Oh, the red carpet, I'm familiar. Here we go. All right, we did it. Everyone says keep going up. All right, here we go. We're just gonna follow this red carpet around. Say I love. Do you, Steve? Are you a big indie game fan? You like indie games? Oh, here we go. Is this a downloadable game or a purchased one? It's a uh, downloadable, yeah. This is like the Xbox One, or they've got smaller games. This is, uh, yeah, this is, yeah, this is PS4, but yeah, they got smaller games. Here we okay. go. I'm gonna help our boy out. Our boy never made it up here, by the way. The other guy, but we made it up here first. Or should I say you made it up here first, Steve? Mm. Oh, Jellox Eleven. Uh, I would hate to hear how bad the desert cafeteria food is. Camel scrotum is the norm. <laughs> camel, camel scrotum is not the norm. That, you know, that would be like me saying, "Oh, you guys all eat coconut all day long." Yeah, right. Exactly. That's all we eat here in LA is coconuts. Oh, here we go. There's our guy. Now, is that when the symbol comes out? 
Is that a word that he's saying there? What's that word that he's saying? It looks like uh, uh, is that a, is that a, is that a special word in your culture? A special like a word of power, perhaps? Uh, no, we don't really talk and we don't really communicate. Oh, okay, you don't talk to each other. These, yeah. these is that because you're you, look is like that because uh, you're closed off? Your feelings are closed off. Yeah, yeah. Wait, I, why should I tell you? That's true. Why should I let you in? That's that's a good point. Yeah, no, I mean that's. I a feel good like point. these are all QR codes that you could uh, <laughs> check each one. Is this that's right? True. It'll just take you to the uh, website. Where are we going here? Should I get out my QR code reader? Yeah. Wait, should we go? Oh, we want to. Oh, wow, we want to go to that thing. Okay. Uh, Skip repeat says that that symbol is your name. That's my name. Oh. Okay. But look, so at, that's, look at all it, the names says, around you. That says Steve Perry, then basically. I know. All right, so let's fly. I think we should fly over up to that thing, right? Yeah. Up, up, up. That's what everyone says. Yeah. Cut to. I fall down because I'm terrible. Uh, Flergensbergen says, do you talk to the camels while you're extracting the urine? Uh, no. You just, you just eye them and maintain eye contact. Maybe you... Oh, God. Think about your favorite meal in the past year. Oh, Jesus. No talking, no. though. No oh, look it, look it. You're looking around there. You're looking around. So, those aren't QR codes. Those are all different names, I see. Exactly, yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, these are all different names. Oh, okay, cool. All right. Oh, so... You, uh, this this is like the uh, uh, mating process. All the different names come in, but only one comes out, right? These are like sperm. Oh, God. This oh, game that's is like sexual. Stanford. Oh, my God. And you're even bigger than before. Oh, no. That's like an orgasm. That looks like a giant, like, like a big... Whoa, that's you. Oh, Here we go. That's me looking at a drawing of me while a larger version of me is about to o overtake me. So sexy. Boy, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Oh, and then you went up and you flew around now, a bunch. Is this the story of what happened or what is to come? I'm not sure. And then you went down and then you ran underneath and there were snakes, water snakes, and then you went all the way up. And now you go up and there's a storm. And now you're going to go. Oh, I think that's us, that's us there. Now we're about to go up. Oh, the, the up to the Mount Moses' Mountain. You, oh, is that what you call it? It's Moses' Mountain. Who's it named after? Uh, no, no, I remember we mentioned the religious aspect. Oh, of yes, yes, that's true. Oh, now we've got to go. Skip repeat says, prepare for the tears. Oh, no. I, uh... uh that looks like a giant butt crack. Is that just me? It looks like a huge butt in the sky. Right. We need to make it up to the sky butt. Twelve monkeys just gave up on this game. I know who Twelve Monkeys is. Uh-oh. Yeah, Lulafon, it's his story. It's his be it's your beautiful story, Steve Perry. Not uh, tears. I'm nervous. What's gonna happen? I'm, oh yeah, so that's there's a lot of what's that smell? It looks like there's kind of a stench. There's a mist. What's that smell there? Is that like Axe oh, body uh, spray or uh, the, the desert is kind of humid because so many people are crying. Crying? Okay. Why are they all crying? That's depressing to live in the desert. <laughs> There's so this much crying all... that the humidity creates a mist. <laughs> this is all mist of tear. This is a mist of sadness. That's a giant mist of sadness beneath us. That's a, that's profound. That's pretty profound. You're, oh, it's Chewbacca's dad says camel farts. Could be camel farts too. Do camels mm. fart? I don't know. Oh, you know, if you if you saw their diet, you, yes, you did. It. Uh oh, what's this in the corners here? It's just snow. It's snow. What's going on? The snow in the desert. You're quite the character, Skipper Pete says. Oh, I just, you know. Yeah, it's all butt cracks. I feel like, uh. Uh oh. No way this is gonna end well, by the way. Wait, why is there snow? What's going on? Why is it so cold? Oh, because we're so high up. Now we're in the mountains. Oh, this is religious. Look at who's uh, lighting the way. A big butt crack? There we go. Oh, camels can't cry. They keep all their water in that uh, in their humps. By the way, it's just the now the controller is just vibrating just a little bit, so it's just kind of making me a little bit nervous. Oh. When the when the controller vibrates, I get a little nervous. Yeah, I always turn that off because uh, I, it, I have a lot of rage when I play games and things don't go my way. Is that true? Yeah. Do you throw controllers around? Oh, I've, I've squeezed a couple to not work anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chewbacca's dad. You're right. And Magic Man. You're right. It's a giant. It's a giant camel toe. Is that fireworks outside or is that gunshots? 
I, I thought it was fireworks. Oh no, it's this guy again. Oh shit. It's these guys. Yeah, it's getting intense, dude. Oblivious Mist, oh. I'm from Utah. Oblivious Mist. Is that desert. the thunder from the video game or is that outside? I don't know, man. <laughs> I think it's from outside. I'm gonna go. Just in case there's danger, I'm gonna go listen. Alright, go listen. If there is danger, by the way, can you let me know so I don't get murdered live on sure, the stream? Sure, sure. I won't eat you. <laughs> Cut to, he totally eats me. What if this stream ended with me getting eaten? That's how the last stream is gonna end. Mark my words. The last Twitch. I'm gonna get eaten. LA questions. Yeah, Jace. LA questions. Gunshots or fireworks? Oh, it's a Dodger fireworks show. The Dodgers must have won. Brooklyn Queen says, Katy Perry way too at the top. Firework. Oh. You know, it's a... Uh, uh, are these tombstones? What are these here? They could be. You know, the, like I said, the, the, the desert's filled with death. Yeah. Uh, kind of a slap in the face when they won't let you light fireworks, yet they mm -hmm. light them off every night if <laughs> they win. I think you know what I have to do? I think I have to hide behind these. <laughs> hide behind these tombstones when the thing comes. Go ahead, blow it up. There we go. Go ahead, blow it up. What the, what is, uh... Magic Man, well that sounds like a porn. Someone's get eaten, is that too much? Exactly, pooper. Remember the pooper, looper, pooper. Whoa, Skipper Pete hide behind and Chewbacca's dad. Playing. You guys know each other? Also, Downtown Disney does it every Friday. Too sad, I can't look. Let me know when it's over, Skipper Pete says. <laughs> Too sad? What? Yeah, he's gonna die. Oh man, he's gonna freeze to death. Are you gonna freeze to death in this game? Maybe I... Are you just a ghost? I mean... Are you... Can I... Oh my god, my hand went right through you. Too sad. Maybe I am just a construct of your own imagination. That's true, could be. Maybe I've been drinking too much Hanson tequila. If it, I, Do I like sand in my butt crack though, Lulafon? No, we talked about this. That's called a dune buggy. It's called getting dune buggy. We don't like, uh... Skip, repeat, quick question for you. Uh, first time asker. Uh, <laughs> long time reader. Um, how close are we to the end of the game? <laughs> it feels like we're close. Minutes? I mean, we gotta get up to this mountain. I feel like... This is sad, man. You're going to freeze in the desert. That's what Chewbacca's dad says. We're not going to freeze here. We need to go up. Although, I will say, the freaking vibration here, that's like a heartbeat, is really creeping me out. Here we go. Oh, it's waking me out. Oh, yeah. yeah. 20, hey, 25 minutes. We're lighting all these. Less than 10. <coughs> Do I light these? I can't light these. Hm. Guaranteed these are all like grades or something terrible. How long have you been playing this one? Jay says, Aaron, uh, I've been playing this. This would be hour three. Aaron doesn't have friends, so in his asylum cell, imagines job at late night with Conan in a video game stream while people watch him at two in the morning. Yes, Jay, you're exactly right. That's exactly what it is. Ooh, the moon! Whoa, it looks like a weirdly earthly moon. Oh boy. I'm nervous. Now that everyone said that there's crying at the end of this, are we gonna weep? Oh. Oh, Lulafon says that cough didn't have an accent. I. Whoa, here we go. I don't know if anybody coughs in an accent. Look, there's stairs. Should we go up here? Oh, didn't you just go down? I did, but should, should we go down? I think we oh. should, right? Oh no, you know what? Let's go over here. Oh man. There's no way that this cloak is keeping you warm. How do you stay warm in the desert? Do you have any other clothes that you wear? Uh, it's, you know, it's pretty hot and then mm -hmm. at night you find a carcass to open up and lay inside. A carcass? Oh, like a tauntaun? Yeah. Go up. Everyone says go up. Go up? We were just up. <laughs> go up? What? Oh, maybe maybe we came over the mountain and supposed huh. to go up to the little. Oh, ah, okay. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, you know, you, you you talked about the stairs and I steered you away. That's right. I know what's going on. Up, uh, up. Uh, all says, right, all right. Thank you for. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna go up. Thank you, thank you. We're gonna go up. Pointy feet keep us warm. 
I would, I'm just going on record as saying, I would eat a person. I totally would do. Yeah. Not even a question. I, I wouldn't even need to be a survival situation. I will do it. Uh, just, I would go to a restaurant where they serve human. Oh, you've eaten all the meats. Why not try the rest? Exactly. Why not? Let's do it. I don't care. It means nothing to me. I wonder... Uh, I don't want to do anything illegal, though. That's the other thing. That's the other thing. Oh, did you get blown up? Is that what happened? That's what happened. Oh, okay. I, uh... Yeah, nothing illegal. I, nothing illegal. But if there was, if there was, like, let's say there was, like, let's say there was, like, Pollo. Let's say there was, like, Taco Bell. By the way, Taco Bell probably is human, anyway. I love Taco Bell. It's my favorite food. But, that being said, if it was human, if there are human tacos, I totally would get a human taco. Uh, Not even a question. I, uh, was talking to a friend the other day because... A Rirda and Aaron loses all followers from in that. I'll, you know what? I'm honest. I'll say that. My my friend had a back surgery and she was uh, spinal fluid was oozing out of her back. You know, and uh, it oh, made, did she get paralyzed? No, they they fixed it. But it made me wonder if I had to eat someone, maybe I should eat all the flu like the brains and then the spinal fluid first. Ooh, that's so a good. I, w I wouldn't have to think about uh, chewing on a hand that you know once. Yeah. Well, you know, pet a kitten. Yeah, hand that once pet a kitten. Exactly. I would eat a kitten, too, by the way. I would eat anything. You know what one thing I wouldn't eat, though? Is dolphin. Because they're smart. They're oh, smart but you creatures. have eaten dolphin. That's the funny part about it. What do you mean? Well, on, uh, the tuna can, sometimes a dolphin gets mixed in and they get the extra pounds of oh, meat. Oh, yeah, that's true. When you don't get the white meat tuna, the albacore, then you're getting dolphin. That's what you're saying. Oh, that's true. Magic Man 19. Well, if you eat a brain, you get their knowledge. That's true. It's like Highlander rules. Oh, okay. If you eat their brain, that's why I know everything that a pig knows and a cow knows. Um, I just think, you know, I, w I just wouldn't eat a dolphin. It just seems like they've... Haven't dolphins suffered enough? You know uh, what I'm saying? I, I feel like you, suffered enough? Oh, you, here, you give too much credit to the dolphin because it always looks like it's smiling. They, they don't like people. They don't like people? No. Oh. Really? They, everyone talks about uh, them try, saving humans, you know, but no, they're just taking them back out of the ocean. Get out of here, he says. <laughs> You're right. They just want people to leave. Oh, man, I got I to gotta defrost this. <clears throat> this is great. This is like a giant bacon strip. I'm just defrosting it. Here we go. I totally, uh... Oh, man, Seats of the Lion. First of all, I would never kill. That's awful. But I'm just saying, if a restaurant is serving... Uh, human. I would eat human. Because oh, humans are dicks, honestly. Humans are the only animal that deserves to be eaten, frankly. Stealth drone says you would eat Conan. Uh, no. Too chewy. It's all gristle. There's no meat there. He's all he's just skin and bones. That does beg the question, though. Do you think a redhead tastes different? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, I would say How Irishman probably tastes different. Do you think if you were eating skin... Alright. Do you think, uh... Uh, a freckled skin would taste different than the fair skin. Deep fried, probably, yeah. I'm guessing there's going to be a big win, so I'm just going to hide behind here really quick. Oh, you got to draw another uh, cloth dragon. By the way, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the movie The Cook, The Thief, His Wife, and Her Lover, but uh, that movie is... That movie fucked me up. I watched it in middle school. It was bad. And they eat a person. Jay says, once watch dolphins get it on in front of 100 people, not that smart. Well, who's the pervert now, dude? <laughs> yeah, exactly. What'd you, how much do you pay for that privilege? Always Gross. turn your eyes. Yeah, avert your gaze, friend. What you do if oh, you no, see two animals guy. having sex, close your eyes so you're not a weirdo, <laughs> but get as close as you can. <laughs> Just, you know, maybe maybe they'll, like, you can run into it. And that, right. that's nobody's fault because your eyes were closed. Right, exactly. Yeah, that's nobody's fault. Tell me if I'm in the house. Oh, you don't look frozen. Oh, oh, this looks like the Terminator spotlight. I know, exactly. <laughs> they can't nail me if I'm in the house, right? Have you seen the, uh... Have you seen the video of the dolphin that is having sex with the sea turtle? No! What? Yes, Jello. Conan hits me a lot. <coughs> Avoid their gaze, Flurgensperger says. I know, I'm trying, dude. It's so cold, though. Oh, no, oh, where do you man. hide? Where do you go? Oh, no, no man, gotta go sideways. I'm just going towards that moon. Don't let the light hit you. Magic man. 
It wasn't my fault I was naked and I rammed that animal my eyes are closed. Yeah, whatever. I'll let the light hit you. I'm not letting the light hit me, everybody. I, uh... Hey, our bestiality video is illegal. Yeah! They are, they are illegal? Why? Have you participated in something? No, what do you do? Out in the desert there, it must get alone. You know what? Let me ask you a question. How do you date people in the desert? Like, what are their... Are there, are there mating rituals? How do you meet other people to date in the desert? Do you have like, well, like sandmatch.com or something, you know? You know, it, it's so hard to trust other people that it's easier to trust family. So, I you know. That's, I, that's where that comes from then, the, the weird dream of your older self. The best thing to do is uh, ask your parents if, if they have any uh, brothers or sisters and and then you get just the, go for it. the real dirt because the family, you know everything. That's right. Oh, John Gingras wins. How do you date people in the desert? You take a core sample. Well done. Well done, friend. Well done. Let's get in this house. I feel like there's going to be a big spotlight coming. Oh, uh, Stealth Drone says, what do you think about the Conor McGregor fight against Chad Mendes? Is that the UFC? Ooh, yeah, I, I, Conor McGregor. Absolutely. These guys are the... Uh, punch you, make hold you till you oh, say yeah, stop. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm weirdly into MMA. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, it's too brutal for me. Too brutal, he says. I, uh, boxing is pretty brutal. Although I'm also into boxing, so whatever. I like the children's version of MMA where you get the. Uh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Go go go! Oh, get in there! Oh god! Get in the thing! Get in the house! These guys are way bigger, by the way, than. Oh, Magic Man 19, there's a UFC fight tomorrow. Yes. When is that girl fight happening? The one with the two oh, yeah, Ronda Rousey. Un undefeated girls that are amazing fighters. Ronda Rousey's going to kick the shit out. I met Ronda Rousey. She's awesome. Super hot in person. Get in the house. Get in the house. You. What's up, Holmes? Here we go. Uh, Ronda Rousey, super hot in person. Uh, hor like, very, very intimidating. It's crazy. Sexy, intimidating, would kick my ass. I'm about to get murdered here. My back hurts. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Here he comes. Dead. Oh. Yeah, Talking about Ronda Rossi. I got nailed. Let's go. I, you know. Uh, Let's run, dude. Let's run. Just run towards the thing. It's confusing when I think about Ronda Rossi because. I, I, you know, I'm one of those people that hasn't seen either of these ladies fight. Dude, Ronda, just watch the highlights. Oh, yeah. YouTube Ronda Rousey, she's amazing. Uh, it's too brutal, I keep saying, and I... You gotta get in there, man. You know, if someone taps out, that's, you know, I don't, I don't like it. I know. What are the, now, what do you guys do in the desert to settle arguments? How do you guys do it? Like, rock, paper, scissors... Is there, are there like, is it like Indian leg wrestling? Like, what is it? When, if there's two people, like, let's say fighting over a camel or some or some camel urine, a bottle of camel urine, how do you guys settle your differences? Do you talk it out? What do you do? Uh, generally, you, you pull out your arms and you see who's got the longer arms and whoever's got the longer arms wins. It's just the longer arms? Yeah, but that's why you hide your arms so that people. Oh, I see. Want, oh, want to oh, that's fight. why you wear the cloak. Yeah, yeah. To hide your arms, because oh. otherwise you don't want people to know your arms, or else they'll just take everything from you. No way this goes well. No way what's about oh, to happen. I, uh, By the way, I love this angle. I'm wearing a shirt from Colorado. That's right. Uh, it means red. <laughs> Skip repeat says throw Sam his camel in their eyes. Oh, Chewbacca's dad said sand camel Spock. <laughs> so what would those three things be? It'd be like 